Okay, welcome back. We're here to talk today about multiples. And we've done a lot of work to this year on multiples, so let's talk about this. A number that can be divided by another number without a remainder is a multiple. So let's watch this problem. Let's say 35 divided by 5 equals 7. So we now know, since that can there is no remainder over here, that 35 is a multiple of actually both. 5 and 7. Now, what if I was to give you a number, let's say like 8, and I said, you know, find three multiples of 8. So you could kind of draw this set, and let's see if you could draw or figure out multiples of 8. We would know that 64 could be a multiple. Uh, also, we could have 72 is a multiple. Also, 80 is a multiple. All right, so those are multiples. Now, you also think to yourself, skip counting. Anytime you skip count by twos, by threes, by fours, by tens, whatever it may be, those numbers that you say as you skip count are all considered multiples. So yes, the number itself is a multiple. Don't forget that. So eight would definitely be a multiple. Now let's see uh, how we do on the next slide here. All right, we're over here. Now I'm gonna write a number. Let's see if you can find some multiples of 4. Now this is a perfect time to stop the video, see if you can come up with any multiples of 4 on your own. Maybe come up with 5. Okay, now that you are back, I'm going to start off with just the multiples of the first 5 multiples of 4. So if I'm counting by 4s, I'd say 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. All of those would be multiples of 4. Let's do another one. Why not? Uh, I'm thinking of a number. How about 9? All multiples of 9. Right, let's just pick a few here. Uh, we'll start with 9. Let's go 18. And yes, I can skip up. Let's go 81. We'll go 90. How about 99? and then 108, all multiples. Now, am I listing them all? Of course not. Just listing as many as I need. Now, let's, let's switch it up just a little bit, and I'll give you a problem here. Let's say 19 and 3. I want to know, is 19 a multiple of 3? So if I count to myself, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Notice I did not say 19 in there. I skipped over it. So 19 is not a multiple of 3. All right, I wonder if anyone can figure out some multiples of 16. Again, go ahead and stop the video. See if you can come up with 4 multiples of 16. All right, welcome back. Now that you have pressed pause, let's try to come up with some multiples. How about 32? How about 48? Ah, uh, did you guess that one? Good. How about another 16? Let's go 64. And then 80 are all multiples of 16. And of course, I could have had 16 in there. I just jumped up a little bit didn't include 16. So very good. Very nice job. I, I put four. I, I actually listed five, but I was asking for four. How did you do? I wonder if you could come up with some multiples of 12. And again, 12 is definitely a multiple of, of 12, because 12 times 1. But let's go 24, 36, 48, 60. And I could keep going, of course, but I'm not going to. Notice, oh, 16 and 12 have a common multiple of 48. Interesting how that is. If you were trying to find a common multiple, it would be 48 for both of those. But I'm not too concerned about that right now. I'm just looking to see if you can figure out multiples. So I'm going to give you just a few more, and then we're going to see how you're doing because I have a good feeling about this. All right, go ahead 
take a look four seven and six and i'd like for you to try on your own see if you could come up with four multiples of each number i have listed here before i give it to you this is a perfect time stop the video and try all right here we go let's try it we have four we have eight we have 12 16 and we need one more i'm not going to say 20 but 20 could have worked i'm going to why don't i just go all the way up and say 40. it's four times 10 would be 40. let's go to seven here seven we'll say 14 we'll say 28 let's do 42 let's do 49. Now notice I'm not staying in order as far as every multiple, and that's okay as long as I'm making sure they're multiples of that number. Let's do six. Okay, six, 12, 18, and 24. All right, I'm really pleased with how you did. I have a good feeling about this. I think you'll really get, a, get the hang of these quickly. So I'm not gonna spend any more time giving you examples. It's your turn, see what you got. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood.